This is how to install your Skyline Towers. Okay, installing your new towers is pretty simple, but it requires attention and care. So you create a super secure foundation for your Yakima system. The Skyline mounts to any Yakima landing pads that are properly installed in your car before you can mount the towers. So be sure to refer to their instructions or have a pro do it for you. To get rolling, you need the towers, the included torque tool, your crossbars, Yakima landing pads, and the printed instructions. If you don't have a printed copy, you can download a PDF on our website, yakima.com. Here. We'll be referencing these two points of adjustment throughout the video. Okay, let's go. Flip down the protective covers on each of the towers. Insert the torque tool into the bar adjustment screw. Here's a tip. If you hold the tower vertically, then you can watch the security door drop out of the way. Turn it clockwise eight times. Now drop the appropriate bar adapter seat into the top of each tower. Make sure it's the right one for your bar. You'll feel it snap into place. Attach the appropriate bar adapter onto its cradle. Flip the tower and use the torque tool to tighten it down. Once it's engaged, it'll sound and feel like a gas cap. Give it three rounds of these multiple clicks. Do it for each of the towers. Next, attach your bars. Each bar is a little different so be sure to follow the details on the printed instructions so you do this right. Bars on? Okay, time to get your rack on your car. Helps to have help for this. First, make sure your aero bars are placed properly with the rounded end forward. The bars should be facing the front of the vehicle, like this. Move the towers into place over your landing pads. Then make adjustments until the bar ends are equal distance from the towers. Open and close the covers to check fit with landing pad. Once they're placed correctly, put the torque tool here and level out the bars. Again, once engaged, it'll sound like a gas cap. Do three rotations of multiple clicks. Flip the cover to clamp the towers to the pads. Make sure they're on there. The car should rock, the rack should not. If you're using Jetstream crossbars, then follow the instructions to cut and place the rubber infill for the bottom of the crossbar. Finally, put your end caps on. This is the time to add your SKS locks if you have them. Done. Removal is easy. Unclamp the covers. Lift and store. Be sure to snap covers on the landing pads to keep out road grit. Oh, make sure you know how tall your vehicle is with its racks and mounts, especially if they are loaded. What used to fit in your garage may not now. We know you're eager to hit the road, but please make sure you review your instructions to ensure a safe and fun adventure.